We're absolutely delighted to have hosted this morning. We've had a range of real experts talking on panels and also in sessions and asking questions. We've had a range of mobile network operators, MVNOs, infrastructure providers and other communications providers. So it's been a really interesting morning with a lot of questions and interesting debate. The richest opportunities for the telcos in the next few years is, is a host of new technologies rather than just one. So artificial intelligence, cloud computing, cyber security, internet TV, and a whole bunch of next generation tech cycles that will be enabled by 5G. And the trick is, or the challenge is, to encompass all of them in their business plans going forward. I'm really optimistic about diversification and collaboration. We see so many interesting solutions for both our consumer customers and our business customers. We'll only be able to do that by working with partners in order to make those services available to our customers. We're in a position now in our society where people understand that a benefit needs to be well distributed. And as a result, I think everyone will come to the table with the view of how we harness 5G and the transformational capability that it will bring in a way that creates a better outcome for everybody. The most critical area for digital is really about competition and a recognition that we don't know exactly what the answer is going to be. And so the best possible opportunity is when multiple companies come at it from different angles, using different business models, different economies of scale, and essentially combine that with a focus from the government and the regulatory environment about knowing that full fiber is, is where we're going. It's clear to me that infrastructure rollout is critical to the 5G business case, and I'm sure we'll see one accelerate the other. I think the key barrier to large-scale full fiber investment in the UK is getting a policy framework that matches government's rhetorical support for that objective. We need tangible actions to remove some of the planning barriers that we face as operators that drive up cost for deployment of new infrastructure. I think what I learned from the discussion today, and again it was framed a lot by the 5G debate, is how much 5G is going to affect everything everyone does, including every business in the UK and indeed in Europe and the US and so on and so forth. How many exciting opportunities there are for new developments in this fourth industrial revolution that we're living through now. So you can use new 5G technology to carry out robot surgery, for example. It can be used to identify a gunshot in the middle of a huge city and that's the technology that they're looking at in America at the moment. The holy grail, really, for M&A advisors, lawyers and bankers, is pan-European M&A. So the creation of a handful of pan-European telco operators, which some people describe as the US or the Chinese model. On the panel, we agreed, actually, that though theoretically this is a very attractive proposition because it enables telcos to achieve scale and efficiency, actually, for regulatory reasons, it's highly unlikely to happen anytime soon. Some interesting thoughts on the labour agenda and the suggestion that we all need to think about what renationalisation might look like for us. You know, if you take back key infrastructure activities into the public sector, whether that would be better in the long run. My main takeaway from the panel today has been how exciting the opportunity is, but equally we're all grappling with a similar challenge, which is where do we each play in the value chain and how do we create that opportunity for our customers? So I think one of the key points that came out from all the different talks this morning is that no one company can achieve all of this by itself. It will be crucial to partner up with others, to make sure that different systems are interoperable, because that will end up providing the best possible service for consumers and as quickly as possible. It's just simply impossible for one company to do all of this.